this video picks up from where we left off in the video for um, the long run as well as the short run total cost curves. So today we're going to talk about the average cost as well as the marginal cost curves. Now this video is extremely important because it's going to determine how well you do for chapter 4 which is um, the chapter on market structures. So you have to pay attention to this video. Uh, there won't be much joking around because um, you know, this is a very key topic. So what are these curves? Okay, we're going to start one by one. Let's talk about the average cost curve first, shall we? Judging from its name, it's easy to see that the average cost is equal to the total cost divided by the total quantity of x produced. It is also equal to the average variable cost plus the average fixed cost. Now, the marginal cost tends to be a little bit more complicating, but it's actually pretty easy. It's the change in the total cost divided by the change in the quantity of x produced. Okay, so in English, this means that the marginal cost is the additional cost that is incurred by the company for producing an additional unit of x. Okay, so that's what it means in English. Um, that, well, that is sim simply my way of um, translating the math into something that is more understandable. So let's use an example to understand what is average cost and marginal cost. All right, let's use a numerical example. So let's assume that the fixed cost a company faces is going to be 10. Okay, so we're going to analyze the amount of units produced, what is the total cost for producing that much units, what's the average cost and marginal cost for producing that particular number of units. So let's say we have a zero, um, and of course when you produce zero units, uh, sorry, whether you produce or not, you're going to be facing a fixed cost of 10, so that's a fact. The fixed cost has already been incurred when you started the company. So let's imagine that uh, when you produce one unit, it's going to cost 18. When you produce two, it's going to cost 23, so on and so forth, until four units. So um, there's going to be no average cost when you produce zero units because to find the average cost, you need to take 10 divided by zero. Well, you can't take 10 divided by zero because that's going to give you a number that's infinity. So we're just going to ignore that for the moment. So what I'm going to do now is to fill up the rest of the average cost column by taking the total cost divided by the number of units produced. So we've got these following numbers over here. As you can see, it's very straightforward to calculate the average cost. You simply take the total cost divided by the total number of units that's produced. Now, let's move on to the marginal cost. The definition of the marginal cost is, again, the additional cost incurred for producing an additional unit of x. So to increase my amount of x from 0 to 1, I'm going to have incur an additional 8. Okay, so the marginal cost for that is going to be 8. So I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the other units. You can notice that the marginal cost is simply how much the total cost has increased for increasing one unit of x. So you see, on, on this column, on the total cost column, you're going to see the change in total cost. And you're going to see on the units column, the change in x. Well, the change in x is, well, just one, because you're increasing by one unit, by one unit, by one unit. And um, basically, you take the difference between the total cost for, for one increment, and you divide it by one. So that is how you actually fill up the column for marginal cost. Now let's move on to the more important question. Why do we need to find out what is the average cost and the marginal cost that a firm faces? Well, the first reason is because of profit maximization. Now let me introduce to you the profit function. Now it is very obvious that profit is equal to total revenue minus your total cost. The, the residual of that is obviously a profit, right? So how do I maximize this? I'm going to differentiate the, the profit uh, with respect to x and equate that to zero because this is how we maximize functions, right? This is basic math. Um, so I'm going to get MR minus MC. What is MR? MR is my marginal revenue minus my marginal cost. So why is it that I get marginal revenue and marginal cost after differentiating total cost and total revenue? Well, that's because in differentiation, what you're doing is you're actually trying to find out the rate of change, right? So when you differentiate something, you're finding out how much it changes. So this is also known as the marginal change. That is why when you differentiate something that's a total, you get the marginal. All right. So I'm going to rearrange that equation, and I'm going to get MR equals to MC. And this is simply the profit maximization rule. And for firms to follow this rule to maximize the profit, what they simply have to do is to choose the quantity of x to produce that fits this equation. So it's actually very simple. Um, let me use a mathematical example to explain why this is the case. So, profit is equals to your total revenue minus your total cost. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. 
simple to understand and captivating so that you can learn effectively while saving time, realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials and exam solutions in the form of videos which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.